The Bible is more prophetic than you can ever imagine. Even the places on a map, literal places that Jesus visited, contain prophecy. And they minister to you the teaching of Jesus, your salvation. How incredible is that? Those places exist. People name them. They've existed for thousands of years. God has already started writing prophecy by inspiring the people that named those countries, areas and places. And when Jesus, in his birth, even as a little child, started going and appearing in those places, a prophecy was spilled forth. God alone can write like that. Jesus was first seen in Bethlehem. Bethlehem ties in Beth with the house. A house is, if you think about this wall, it is something that is built up. So there's an element of building escalation, building up in a house. Therefore we find families also being used in terms of the house of fill in the family name because it is the building up of that family as more and more children come. It is the building escalation. Right, so the house is the building escalation of Lechem. In Lechem we find a tie with battle and bread. Battle and bread? Jesus explained this before he fulfilled that prophecy going into his death. He said that his body would be broken like bread. It is the battle of the breaking of his body. Through the death of Jesus, whose body was broken like bread, God fought the battle to save us. So Jesus, God's salvation, is of Bethlehem. So God's salvation comes from that battle of breaking bread that would be fulfilled in Golgotha. In Bethlehem, Mary laid him down, wrapped in linen. In Bethlehem, thus in the house of being broken like bread, its escalation, bitterness laid Jesus down. It is the bitterness that took him to his death, where he was laid, wrapped in linen. In Bethlehem, in the escalation of the battle of being broken like bread. The next place that we would see him was he would go, together with Joseph and Mary, to Egypt. Egypt, the place of captivity. In the Hebrew name Mizraim, we find a tie with being cramped in, held captive. See Golgotha going into the grave. Jesus on the cross was fighting the battle of bread. That's where salvation comes from. And it would escalate. It would go to Egypt, the place of captivity. What took Jesus there? Who took him there? But Joseph and Mary. Joseph, this name is prophetic, it means adding. In other words, escalation. And Mary means bitterness. Joseph and Mary escalated added bitterness, took Jesus to the being cramped in captivity so place. It Jesus was on the cross. His body was broken like bread in the battle of the house of bread, Bethlehem and even more adding bitterness that kept on added culminated in his going to Mizra, going to the place of death going to the place of captivity that death verdict that we owe that we cannot get out of Jesus went there and was no longer seen in the land Jesus died from Egypt he returns to Galilee next we find that he returns to Galilee in other words to Galal to roll away. Jesus rolled away our reproach. He opened the tomb. A death verdict was rolled away because Jesus died fighting that battle of bread broken, going into Mizraim, the place active by death, the place of the siege, and then rolling away our reproach. That's where God's salvation would be coming from. You see, all of that happened and it all is a prophetic testimony because God in his mighty power wrote a prophecy that spans centuries that spilled forth when he came. God alone opens his word. May you be strengthened. Jesus truly is the only way. Jesus that is of Bethlehem. Salvation that comes from the place of the battle of bread. We are saved by that. God's salvation is the only way, just like he said.